<laughs> hey everybody happy hump day i hope you guys are all having an amazing start to your week i just realized i'm like blocking mark hello she always does where are you <laughs> maybe i should have turned it just a little so as you guys are coming on please say hello let us know where you are watching from it doesn't look like we're connecting yet but i'm just gonna keep going and hope that it connects so we are coming to you guys live from beautiful cool california we left California a week ago and it was cold. We came home and it's just gorgeous. So Beautiful. it's really, really nice. So thank you, Iowa, for letting us bring home your nice Warm weather. Yep. So if you guys are catching the replay, which means this live button is not up here at the top, please put missed you in the comments because we missed you and I would love to reach out and connect. And if you are new, welcome. We are super excited that you found your way to our page. Please put new in the comments. Let us know where you found us. Was it on TikTok, Instagram, or over here on Facebook? And welcome. My name is Renee. I'm Mark. And we're Team Terry. So, <clears throat> uh, let's see, what's next? Um, sharing, sharing is caring. So, I, if you guys could share, we will get you into our drawing. So make sure that you put shared in the comments. Remember, somebody probably shared with you whenever you guys found us. So we appreciate you doing the same. Plus, it makes you beautiful. Um, also, make sure that you follow us for all things keto. Tap my nose. Three dots up here at the top. Select follow. And then you can also turn on live notifications. So, hey, Glinda. Hey, Diane. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Sheila. Thank you, guys. Okay, so Diane Delone. Oh my gosh, I cannot pronounce names, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Thank you very much for sharing. Glenda Burns, thank you for sharing. Brenda LeBlanc, thank you for sharing. So I am going to go and give it a couple shares out and Mark is gonna get started. You guys are gonna to wanna to share this one, definitely, because this is one of our this is great. favorites. This is, this is a wonderful snack or a meal. Keto nachos. Okay, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Okay, be sure you check us out on YouTube at Team Terry Keto. We've got all of our recipes over there. We've got over 250 recipes there now. Um, <clears throat> categorized by breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, fat bombs, favorites, you name it. We've got them over there. Um, if you need the, uh, if you need the um, link, drop uh, YouTube in the comments and we'll get that to you. So this is a real easy recipe um, that we had uh, we had it last year when we were uh, in Iowa with our daughter, and uh, even she loved it. So um, this is, it's real quick, takes about probably 30 minutes to prepare and, and cook, but it's just, it's wonderful. Um, I've got five um, bell peppers. Uh, the I've got orange and yellow and the aloha peppers, which we love. Um, if you can find those at your store, get them. They, they are so sweet and so crisp and just a wonderful pepper. Um, I've sliced those, taken, taken the insides out and, and sliced them up. <clears throat> I'm going to put them on a pan here and I'm going to add some uh, garlic powder, some salt and pepper, and then I'm going to bake these in the oven at 375 for about seven minutes. i got garlic all over me. <laughs> of course, you're wearing black. Yeah. Uh, for about seven minutes, and we'll cook the uh, hamburger while we're doing that. Now you can use whatever you like for the um, for the meat. If you want to use ground turkey or you want to use uh, ground pork, you can use any of it. Ground chicken, um, all of them would taste good. You're going to mix it with a little uh, uh, a little uh, taco seasoning, and it uh, it tastes wonderful. So we're getting that added in. Thank you guys so much. I see a bunch of people who have jumped on. Please make sure you guys are saying hello. Hey, Linda. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mandy. Thank you guys for jumping on. We're super excited to see you on here with us. Okay. So now while that's cooking, I'm going to cook my hamburger. Um, we use, <laughs> we, I measured this out at two pounds thinking that it would be plenty, uh, and then realized it's just Renee and I. <laughs> so that's probably a bit much, but I'm going to cook the whole thing anyway, and that way I've got leftover taco meat. We can throw it into our low-carb tortillas, tortillas um, and make it a, a, a burrito or a, a taco, just whatever a quick we want to do with it. Yeah, real quick, microwave it for a few seconds, and it's ready to go. So. Um, 
I'm going to cook this until it's done. Then I've got uh, this taco seasoning that we got at Costco. This is an organo, organic taco seasoning. There's no calories. There's no carbs. There's no nothing. This is all organic seasonings that are in here. What's the other one we uh, used to use that's really good, too? Um, the, we used to use McCormick's. Oh, no, um, the one up here, the Taco Tuesday one. Oh, the Taco Tuesday from uh, Flavor Guy. Yeah, that one's really good, too, you guys. Yes, they are both really, really tasty. This one tastes more like the McCormick's to me, so it's one I really like. I've, I've grown up with the, the uh, um, McCormick's taco seasoning. Uh, my mom's done that ever since I was a kid, so... Okay, perfect. So thank you guys for jumping on. Hello, Shelly from Iowa. We had so much fun. We, we really did. It is it is beautiful there. The Hawkeye State, for sure. Yeah. Um, hey, Patty. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Drina from Polka, West Virginia. Okay. Hey, Vicki. Thank you guys all for jumping on. You are absolutely amazing. So for those of you who are just jumping on, we are making one of our favorites. It's keto nachos. You guys have to try this. I'm telling you, it is so good. It's made with bell peppers. It has the crunch of nachos. Yep. And it's so, it's so good for you. Um, Vicki Harris, thank you so much for sending the stars. You are incredible. Hey, Tammy Woods. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Jason. Thank you all for um, jumping on and saying hello. So Mark just put the uh, bell peppers in the oven to start. And then now he is cooking up the hamburger, and then we will see the rest of the process. Um, hey, Linda. I see from Louisiana. That's some place that I think we need to go. Yeah, we need to go down to Louisiana. Okay, if you could tell me a good time that's not humid in your state, I would love to come and visit. I don't know what it is, but humidity is not my friend. I should say that about my hair. It's not my friend's hair. Or friend's, my hair. It's not your friend's <laughs> hair. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You guys can tell that it's been a long day. This is our first day back after traveling, yeah. which is always fun. We got actually, we made some really good um, meals today that we did videos on, too. Taco salad. Yeah, Kelly, that yes. would be really good, too. See? With the leftovers yep, of it? Absolutely. Throw mm -hmm. this in a bed of lettuce or put it in, uh, you could get romaine lettuce and make uh, mm -hmm. wraps out of it. As Patty well. Monroe, thank you so much for the stars. It's bell peppers. Yeah, they're sweet. So you guys can put whatever peppers in it you want. We yes. prefer the sweet pepper so we don't do the green. Yeah, I don't particularly like the green ones. They're a little bitter for me. But you can put them in there too. Yes, um, you can use them if you like them, absolutely. This one, we only had the red, the orange, or the red, the orange, and the aloha at the store. They didn't have the yellow they didn't ones. They the yellow ones this time. Yeah, you were born in Iowa. Yes, Iowa is really nice. And now you're in Vermont. Oh, See? wow. That's a little change. Yeah, I just thought it was so pretty. We actually, we flew into St. Louis for the first time. It's the first time we ever been to St. Louis. And as we were flying in, I was just amazed how many trees. And they were all green. Being from California up here, just, it's dying. Already. It's already dying. Even though you usually can see the leaves change in the fall. Yeah. Um, start to come back to life in the spring. Or, you know, or yeah. you're just not even seeing that. It's only May and we're already on a fire watch. Yeah, Brenda, we don't like the green ones either. So if you guys are brand new, please make sure that you say new so I can reach out and connect. If you guys are low carb, put low carb, or if you are keto, we are definitely dirty, lazy, yeah. Cheeto keto, but everything we do is easy. Yeah. So it just seems like you can make can better right choices, yeah. but you can make better choices too whenever it's not overthinking it a lot of people say i don't know how to be keto become keto it's so hard you guys it's not it's not hard it really isn't it's easy um if you just pick a protein um get your carbs from vegetables and yeah. your fats for out of fat that's yeah. basically it add your mct add your oil add your butters um yeah. and that's basically it it's super simple if you're wanting help and you are wanting in our recipe group, put group, you guys, and send me a friend request. I will make sure that I get you in. This resource group has so much stuff for you that it'll be really helpful. Okay, so I just put in the uh, taco seasoning. I mixed it per the package. It's a couple of tablespoons per uh, three, three quarters cup of water per pound of hamburger. So 
Um, I mixed all that up. Now I'm just going to sit it in here. I'm going to keep it on fairly high temperature because I want the water to evaporate and then it'll thicken up the sauce and it'll uh, it gives better seasoning for the uh, meat. Yes, yes, yes. So we got this one going about a minute before the bell peppers come out too. Okay, I see a lot of you guys putting group. We will definitely get you yes. in. Okay, I am not sure um, what that says because it's Quichoup. HH. Okay, I don't, maybe you were trying to do group and it autocorrect. Mine does that all the time. Next time, try to cook A B A D B O O. I am not even sure. Don't even know. Okay, I will Google that for sure. Good morning. Somebody must be across the country, maybe European. Thank you guys for saying hello. What's the easiest way to restart on keto? I used to have hypoglycemia. Um, you know what? The easiest way is to actually join our coaching program. Mm -hmm. So if you are wanting coaching, um, put coaching in the comments and I'll reach out. We'll have a conversation. We have an amazing coaching program, you guys, that will help you to get back fat adapted, especially on keto because going through the keto flu is super hard. hard and it's not fun. So we have a program that we walk you through so you do not get the keto flu. We teach you about water. We teach you about um, intermittent fasting, which is so beneficial to help get your body depleted of glycolic storage. Okay, I'm gonna pull those out. I'm gonna continue cooking here for just a couple of minutes. Second or two. So the taco seasoning that he is using is from Costco and it's, yes. um, and it's aromatic, organic. aromatic organics. Yes. So yeah, but we also use, we, we use a bunch of them and I know the taco Tuesday is a really good flavor one. Flavor gods. Flavor. Yeah. That's flavor gods. That's a really good one, but this is a Costco one. And so it lasts us a long time. We do a lot of, um, the seasonings, taco seasonings. Yep. We do a lot of tortillas because we are low carb and I love tortillas. Adobo is a red pepper. Oh, oh my okay. gosh, thank you, Esther. I couldn't figure that out. I wonder if that is like a- Is it spicy? Yeah. We don't do real spicy. But I mean, it's an adobo pepper. I don't know, we did one the other day that was really good. It was a green pepper that didn't have a lot of spice. I don't know which, or maybe it was a chili. Oh, it was, uh, yeah, it was a chili. It was- um, I can't remember. Oh gosh, real big one. It wasn't, uh, oh, okay. it wasn't jalapeno, it was something, Gosh, I can't yeah. remember what it was. Now. I can't either, but Kathy Beeler, really she just asked, what's the keto flu? So the keto flu is whenever your body basically goes through withdrawals from um, sugar. sugar. Yeah, carbohydrates. And, and so what will happen is you will like get a headache, you'll feel lethargic, you'll um, get shaky. It's, it's just, it's not a good thing. Um, and whenever you first get rid of carbs, you can actually go through the keto flu and we will teach you certain ways to do it between hydration, electrolytes, um, intermittent fasting, just to kind of get your body used to it. Because anytime you just take something completely away, it, um, your body is going to, of course, it's a detox, especially from sugar. You guys, I'm sorry, but sugar is just like a drug to me. Yes. I mean, e if I have even just a little bit of sugar, it's like crack. I just, I need more and more and more. And then whenever I stop, of course I have withdrawals. Yep. Yes, that is steaming a lot. He has it going good. Banana pepper. It may have been. Oh, poblano. Okay. Sandy, that poblano, was it. Poblano, that's the one we had. Yes. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Those okay. were really good. Sandy, yes. you are the winner. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is awesome that somebody actually knows what pepper and we don't. Okay. okay. We're just gonna have to work on this. And Heather said it too. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, you guys, you're amazing. Those peppers are so good. Those are good. really good. I, I was afraid they'd be too hot because I can't do jalapenos. They're too hot for me. And we avoid My that. My stomach just turns on me like, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we now have the hamburger over the top of the peppers. Yep, we've got that done. Oh, let's turn, turn this off. Yes. We're gonna move that over. No, pepperoni. I like pepperoni's on my pepper sandwiches. Yeah, pepperoni's are good too. Aren't too bad. You guys are amazing with all of your like peppers and stuff. Hey Nancy, hey Deanna, thank you guys very much for jumping on. We are making keto nachos. Okay. S super easy. So, I'm going to this is a Mexican blend cheese that we also get at Costco. Um, and I'm just going to cover this. This is entirely up to you how much you want to use. 
um, I like to cover it up because we do like our cheese. And now I'm going to put this back in the oven for eight minutes and then we'll be ready for dinner. Yeah, and so he actually used that whole two pounds of hamburger and it covered the five peppers quite well. Yeah. So I would say, you guys, depending on how many people you are serving, this doesn't reheat the best. Um, you can reheat it, but the bell peppers won't have the crunch that it's yeah. going to have right now. Yeah, it's just like eating a chip. Crunchy. It is so good. You guys are absolutely going to love this. So if you guys need the recipe, we have like a little 60 second TikTok that I can send to, but it's super easy. Bell peppers, five to six in the oven, mm -hmm. 350 for 375. 375. That's why she doesn't cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to put the recipe up at the top so you guys can click on it and go print it out. It'll be over on Team Terry Keto because I want you guys to be able to save it because these are absolutely incredible. They're really good. And, it's, it's a really good meal. Yes. Can you use green peppers? Absolutely. absolutely. Yes. We just don't care for the green peppers, so we don't use them. But absolutely, you can use them. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So, hang on. Let me scroll back really fast because I just saw somebody. Nancy Korea, thank you very much for the stars. We absolutely appreciate you. If you guys get value from this, smash on that love button, which I see you guys doing right now. Put value in the comments and share it with somebody you love. Yeah. It really helps us out to stay accountable whenever we know that we are helping you guys out. It encourages us to come back on here and do more. So I think that is it. Yep. I will make sure that we get the recipe over there. I don't even think I have it over there. And this is one of our favorites. So I'll go type it out for you guys real fast and I'll put it up there and it'll be a link there. Chris Korber, thank you so much for sharing. And Dottie and Yvonne, thank you for commenting value. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. We will either be on here Friday or Saturday because we are heading to see Mark's see parents yeah. on Sunday. So love and appreciate you guys. Thanks for spending some time with us. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.